Mr. Mayor, first of all, why are taxes so low in Saddle River? Well, we have the fortunate position of not having an abundant amount of infrastructure. And one of the main components of taxes are your school taxes. And we do not have a high school or a middle school. We only have a grammar school. So thereby saving a tremendous amount of cost that you would have in another contiguous town. We also don't have a lot of infrastructure. So our municipal tax rate does not have to include items that another town would have with a high DPW department uh, or a fire department. Uh, for example, we have a volunteer fire department. We've created a culture that attracts people to want to volunteer in our town. So we don't have that multi-million dollar expense of having to have a paid fire department. And that's how you save a ton of money. We save a ton of money. Wow. So, <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, tell me about this uh, PR campaign, um, the, the, what, the Salt Lake, no, Palm Beach of what, Route 17, but just brief, brief me <laughs> in on this. Well, first of all, um, as you know, Saddle River is a very unique town. It's a town that has large open space parcels of land with two acre minimum zoning and a downtown historical district with probably more historical buildings than any other town in Saddle River. And we also have the enviable low tax rate where our municipal portion of our taxes is less than one half of all of our contiguous towns. So as you know, the real estate market generally has been weak in the Northeast. And we thought that if we can get some of our story out there uh, on all the enviable aspects of our community, that this would be a good thing to support our real estate values. And with that in mind, we've decided that we would hire a PR agency to represent our story, our very unique story, for people who are looking to buy a home in the Northeast area, or contiguously located near New York City. Okay, so tell me about this campaign, Mr. May. I'm just curious. Well, the, the campaign basically is, is analyzing the marketplace and finding out who our target market is and now developing our message. And we're not uh, at the end of our campaign. We're in the uh, beginning of our campaign right now. But basically what we would like to do is have our story out there in earned media wherever possible to share our story and particularly as it relates to our low and enviable tax situation. So you're actually advertising. We are not advertising. Okay. We are just sending our message out there because most people don't know that the taxes in Santa River are as low as they are. Okay, uh, for the average person, when you can you quantify low? When you say low, what do you mean, Mr. Mayor? Okay, for example, if you bought a uh, $1.7 million home, which is the average price of a home in Saddle River, your taxes would be anywhere from fifteen dollars to $18,000. You can go to a contiguous town, just bordering our, our physical borders of our town, and pay anywhere from twenty two dollars to $30,000 for the exact same house. So therefore you're saving a significant amount of money on an annual basis. That's that money that can be put away for your kid's college education, or it can be put away for that summer vacation. Major difference. And it's huge. And when you look at the larger homes, the amount of money that you could save, uh, there are people in Saddle River who they pay thirty dollars to $35,000 on taxes, whereas in a contiguous town, that bill may be sixty to seventy to $80,000. When you start to quantify that over a period of time, over a 10, 15 year period, you could save anywhere from two hundred dollars to $500,000 in tax savings by living in Saddle River. Just in taxes alone. If you have a large home, yes, you could, absolutely. So now the salt, deductions. What, how is that playing out in Saddle River? Well, salt deduction is a major, major uh, game changer. As you know, the, it's, you are now limited on how much of your personal mortgage you can deduct on your taxes. Well, that being said, people are now looking at the home as part of their investment portfolio. When you think of the opportunity you have to invest in the stock market, which is topping out, or CDs or other similar vehicles where you're getting very little interest uh, income from your investment, all of a sudden, saving money, significant money on your taxes now comes into the play on how you look at, at in your investment. So your home is not just a place to live anymore. It's also considered by most young savvy people as an investment as well. 
And so, Mr. Mayor, so you, you clarified me, and thank you for doing so. You're not advertising, but no, you hired no. a PR company to get the message out there of just how low the taxes, how beneficial the taxes are in Saddle River. Well, not only low taxes, but we have so many other things that are unique about our town. We have an arts council, which is out there uh, promoting the arts and, and cultural identity for a community. You know, a, a community is is valued not only by the low taxes, but also the depth of its cultural experience and its diversity. So we do things like that. We are an equestrian town. We're one of the few towns where you, not only will you save money on low taxes, but your daughter can have a pony in the backyard. We have a town where we have a, a grammar school, an elementary school, where we were recognized as the number one elementary school in Bergen County. You would expect with that recognition that you would pay a premium to live at, in a town like Saddle River. And that beautiful, wonderful, for, uh, number one education in elementary school comes with in a very attractive price. And that is free because it's public education. Mr. Mayor, is there anything that I didn't ask you uh, as it relates to taxes and Saddle River that you feel the public needs to be aware of? Um, I, th I think you've covered all the bases. I can tell you that we're the canary in a coal mine, I think, for this subject because you will see an ever-increasing amount of people starting to come to Saddle River and look for it to be their place to live and bring up their family.